What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm Michigan Sports Talk here and in this one we got some transfer portal news as Michigan is set to host a wide receiver on a visit plus Michigan so shows interest to another cornerback target and a five-star safety includes Michigan in his top five list. We're also going to be going over what some Michigan players and coaches are saying ahead of the Rose Bowl matchup against Alabama and how confident and healthy they are feeling. It's all gonna be in this video and more, so let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to start first by talking about some transfer portal news for Michigan. And I wanted to give an update on the Wake Forest uh, wide receiver transfer Jamal Banks, as it has been reported that Michigan will receive a visit from him in January. Now, Michigan offered Banks on December 15th, and he has visited Wisconsin, Notre Dame, and Minnesota already. He also apparently wants to go and visit Purdue as well. Now, there is currently a recruiting dead period in effect until next month, but this is good news for Michigan as they will be getting a visit from him in January. Michigan has been, you know, trying to go after receivers in the portal. Michigan has shown interest uh, to also the two-lane wide receiver transfer Chris Brazel. However, he committed to Tennessee on Thursday. So right now, Jamel Banks is Michigan's only wide receiver target in the transfer portal as of right now. He's a 6'4", 205-pound wide receiver, a bigger uh, bodied wide receiver that Michigan will need after this year as Cornelius Johnson is leaving. Now, this past season, he had 59 receptions for 653 yards and four touchdowns this past season for Wake Forest. And in his career, he has holded 107 catches for uh, 1,404 yards and 13 touchdowns. So we'll see how his visit goes to Michigan uh, in the month of January. Uh, and the Michigan is also going after another cornerback that they are interested in as they have expressed interest in the former UConn cornerback Mumu Bin Wahad as he has heard from 17 schools since entering the transfer portal including Michigan, Northwestern, BYU, Michigan State, Arkansas, USC, Miami, uh, NC State, North Carolina, and others. Now he's a six foot, 185 pound cornerback, and he will have two years of eligibility remaining. He did spend one season at West Virginia in 2022, and he played the 2023 season at UConn, and he was ranked as the third best corner this season with a PFF grade of 79.2 and allowed zero touchdowns on 291 coverage snaps. He totaled 34 tackles, four tackle for losses, one sack, one forced fumble, one interception, and pass breakups in 12 games with eight starts during the 2023 season. Michigan is also going after the Western Kentucky cornerback Upton Stout. I'm sure they're also trying to go after uh, Domani Jackson from USC as he has entered the transfer portal as well. So some more cornerback targets for Michigan in the transfer portal. And then I also wanted to talk about the five-star 2025 safety DJ Pickett from Tampa, Florida. He's ranked seventh nationally on 24-7 sports composite rankings, one of the most highly touted recruits in the 2025 class. And he announced his top five list yesterday as moving forward, it'll be between Alabama, Miami, Georgia, Oregon, and Michigan. Now, Pickett's father, Damian, uh, said of Michigan when they visited for the win over Ohio State that Michigan was a nice environment, electric, and he said what catches our eyes that they have a plan for my son. Seems like I have met the entire staff before and it really did feel like home. He also said that I love the fact that they talk about him playing both sides of the ball. So Michigan, they've been a contender in DJ Pickett's uh, recruitment. They continue to be as they crack in to the top five. Michigan, they're going after a lot of top rated recruits in the 2025 class. It has the potential to be good. However, we've said that before in past classes, but I now want to talk about what's going on around the Michigan football team as some players talked about, uh, you know, the game against Alabama and the playoffs coming up. But first, Michigan did show off their Rose Bowl patch that will be on the jersey 
uh, in their tweet on Thursday, and it looks beautiful. Cannot wait to see Michigan wear their home jerseys in the Rose Bowl with that Rose Bowl patch. It's for sure going to be a special game in the Rose Bowl too. Blue Blood programs going at it for a chance to go to the national championship, and we are getting very, very close to January 1st now. But uh, let's go ahead and talk about what some players are talking about about ahead of the Rose Bowl matchup against Alabama. Blake Corum, he spoke with the media and he said that he stands on uh, what he said over the summer of it's a natty or bust type of season. He said, I stand on that. I said it at the beginning of the year. For me, it's natty or bust. He said, we have to find a way to get over that hump and I think we will. I think we have the recipe. And speaking about Alabama, he said they're a great team. After watching film, they're really coached well and he said the defense flies around so it's definitely going to be a challenge that we are super excited for we love a good challenge uh, but he also said we're still the top dog and that's how we're going in now, michigan has also been having a later practice schedule uh, before the cfb compared to previous years he said our bodies feel really well before we were kind of going at it a little bit where now coach harbaugh changed it a little bit so we practice really hard and we'll have a walkthrough but still full speed just not hitting and he said just mentally more guys are buying into the film giving or giving this much time to the game when we go in the game making sure we know each and everything that they could possibly do he said now it's just about being where our feet are these next couple of days until we leave for cali and when we get into cali still being where our feet are until january 1st and making sure we are just precise we can't make any mistakes but yeah i will stand on what i said of this being a natty or bust now last year blake Corum wasn't able to play in the playoffs this year he's fully healthy and he said super excited to be back in the playoffs playing a great team and being on the field with my teammates instead of on the sidelines on crutches also on the run game he said i wish zach zinner was playing but super confident he said i know carson at guard and trente at tackle will be perfectly fine they're ready and they're looking really good out there i'm excited to run behind them and then mike samer still also talked to the media and uh talking about alabama's deep pass game threat he said they'll run the same play a lot of different ways they find different ways to get to it and he also said they'll find ways to have you think that they are in a balanced set formation and then they'll slow the tempo down but he said they have dynamic receivers a really good quarterback can throw the ball probably 70 yards in the air the receivers are really good tracking the ball down the field so it's a great opportunity for our defense he said we've definitely had scenarios though that have prepared us for a team like alabama he said we played maryland who had a really good quarterback really good at getting out of pocket creating plays and we also played Ohio State who has really good receivers he also said we just have to be able to make sure that regardless whatever we're playing zone or man that everyone's doing their part of the defense and not trying to do anyone else's job and he said we know that they're going to make plays that's a really good offense it just comes down to who makes the most plays when it's needed he also talked about the Rose Bowl the iconic stage he said there's no bigger moment no bigger stage than being able to play at the Rose Bowl against a team like Alabama two iconic football programs two teams their fan base is going to travel well our fan base is going to travel well and I'm already calling it a classic football game and Jesse Minter also talked to the media about the mentality Michigan has he said I do think having that mentality of we feel like we're hungry we feel like we're the underdog he said this is the Alabama Invitational they've played in eight out of ten playoffs won a bunch of them and he said let's go let's bring on the best and let's play them and see where we're at Sharon Moore also said you know we haven't won it so they have we haven't we've got to prepare our tails off to get to that point in what they've done that's our goal. That's our mindset. Our goal is to go win and we'll do everything we can to do it. Minter also said that, you know, 13-0 is fantastic. Nobody has ever won three straight outright Big Ten championships like this group has, like Coach Harbaugh has. But at the same time, the group has been driven to get to this moment. So past failures often lead to that mentality, the chip on your shoulder. And he said, now we're here and now it's on us to try and get further than we have and reach our ultimate destination. He said, even though we've had a success and it's great, nobody's ever going to take that away. It's really this moment to a man. Everybody said, this is what we're gunning for. This is why we're coming back. So Michigan takes on Alabama in the Rose Bowl on New Year's Day at 5 p.m cannot wait but other than that that is going to wrap up today's video hope you guys did enjoy if you did make sure you guys go ahead drop a like comment down below and subscribe for more if you're new around here i'd really appreciate it also 
might not be making another video until Christmas. So hope you guys all have a great Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Go Blue.